Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha Rizundu if you are new here. And today we've got some new makeup. I'm pretty excited. I did a little haul. It's going to be on my vlog. Make sure you subscribe to watch my vlog. I bought two perfumes. I'm wearing one, the K. Ali Love Fest Burning Cherry. I love it. I love it. And then I also bought the big purchase. I got this from Mecca. Wilhelm. I've been calling it Wilhelm. It's Wilhelm Perfumery Dear Polly. It is the one I've been wanting for a very, 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 very long time. This, and I also want Mango Skin. I went into, not the city mecca, but it's still in a city in Broadway. And they have a pretty decent um, perfume section there. So they also have a Sephora there. So I went to Sephora and I went to Mecca, but that's all I got from Mecca. But what I want to do is, I got a few new things. I got a gift. From a lovely, lovely lady. Thank you, Rachel. She has been wanting me to try these L'Oreal singles for a long time. And she also bought me a Moira cream shadow, cream, lucent cream shadow. I already have two, but they're like, they're like outlandish colors. Like it's a hot pink and a white. So this I'm gonna be wearing today, faux show. I'm gonna try and use all of them because um, I'll show you my dress. It's a really nice dress. I'm going out for dinner. I'm going out for dinner. If you are in Sydney, have you heard of Portino, the Argentinian restaurant? I'm very excited. I'm going out with my friends. And I want a nice, really warm, bronzy look. That's what I want to do. But I bought the Makeup Forever HD Skin Matte Velvet. It's very humid. I'm hoping that this will be perfect for today. I've just had a shower. I've done my skincare and then sunscreen. I put the sunscreen, this is about half an hour ago, so it's all settled in. But I got the shade 1N06, and I'm super excited. I'm also gonna review this on TikTok, so I might do half a face, and then do half a face on TikTok, but I'm so excited to try it. I also bought the LYS concealer. Um, last time I used, uh, Mascara, I'm gonna use the other one. I had the silver one, the volume. This is the lift from L'Oreal. Anything else that's new? Oh, yes, and I got influenced by Tanika. Tanika, this is your fault. <laughs> um, in my closest price line, my local closed down, but I went to one not far off. They only had light and dark, but she recommends medium. And if she recommends medium, I'm gonna go medium because we're similar skin tone. Revolution Ultra Cream Bronzer, and then I found this in a different price line. <sighs> so I've been on the hunt, and I got it today. No, not today, I got it two days ago. So I've got a few different new things. Bit of Sephora, bit of Priceline. I'm very excited to try all these things. So make sure you subscribe if you're new here. Make sure you share with your friends. If you have other friends that love beauty content and they don't know me and they want to find an Australian or they just want to find someone who, you know, I don't know, it's like fun, <laughs> share. Okay, I've had to crack a window because I'm dying of heat. So I really hope you can't hear it. I know my microphone picks up everything, but I've just cracked it um, because it's very windy. So I've done one side for my TikTok which you can see is this side. I think the shade is perfect. I think I nailed the shade match. I am using the puff or the sponge that it comes with. So let's do the other side together. And I'm trying not to do a thick layer because I'm trying to do full coverage. I just want it to be nice. I just want it to even my skin tone. And I don't usually wear powder foundations, but the way people have been describing this one, I feel like it's good for what I look for. Um, because I find that a lot of powder foundations go cakey on me. I don't know. I think it's just because, I don't know. I just like a liquid, you know. But um, I like the sounds of this one. And I love that it's in this compact with the sponge. Like this is a great reapplier. It's not something I usually do, but sometimes I wish I had something to reapply with. You know what, I wish I did that. When I was at the markets and it poured with rain when we arrived and my makeup, I had nothing left on. I had nothing left on except for mascara. And I just looked, I looked weird. I look better if I just don't put makeup on than if I had makeup on and it wipes off. There you just look kind of scraggly. You know what I'm saying? 
Um, and I would have really appreciated something like this in my bag. What do we think? I'm purposely not going under the eye because I've got a the um, OIS liquid concealer. It just kind of looks like my skin, but powdered down. <laughs> I am getting a little bit of cakiness, but I want to just see how it settles. But yeah, otherwise I quite like it. I love the shade. I think it's nice so far. Put that away, but yeah, no, I really like it. And I know this already existed, but I think this is like an updated version. Is that? Oh, that breeze. Oh, give it to me. Right, so we're gonna go straight into the concealer. This is called the Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer with Hyaluronic Acid, Turmeric, and Ashwagandha. Beautiful, this is my, I've always wanted to try this brand, so I'm really excited to try it. And they didn't have the full range in store. I really wanted the cream bronzer. But they just had a few things. They had a very small display, but they still had a display. I got the shade L and 3. They didn't have all the shades. It was pretty low in stock, but I think this will be pretty good for me. So you guys convinced me to buy this. I'd always had an interest in it, but you guys really tipped me over. A few of you suggested this. Just a little bit here, because I don't really know how to use powder foundation with liquid concealer. This is the Flower Beauty one. I thought it'd be a nice one for concealer. It's supposed to be full coverage, but lightweight, I believe. And I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna have the best opinion of this cause it's not liquid on liquid, it's liquid on top of powder. I'm gonna do my best. Yeah, it's going a little bit cakey here. I was kind of expecting that though. I don't really want cakey makeup when I go out for dinner. What do you guys do with powder foundation? Do you wear concealer or you just do the powder foundation all the way up your eye? I just don't really know. That's something I don't really understand because I don't wear powder foundations usually. And if I do, it's the Bare Minerals one, which is super light and I'm not really doing a full face when I wear that. So it doesn't matter if I'm not wearing concealer. Kind of just disappeared. I might add a little bit more, but I don't think I don't know, I even know if a sponge is a good idea. Just because we shouldn't be putting water with powder. I think I'm making bad decisions. It's a little yellow for a neutral, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like a lot of brands don't understand neutral. I'm gonna use this, I was gonna use this for blush, but we're gonna use this. This is the came up brush I just bought. It is the complexion brush. And it's just got a nice density to it. Okay, much better with a brush. I should not have used a sponge. That's my error. I'm going to definitely have to play with that concealer with a, a liquid foundation. I'm hesitant to give you my opinion, but I think I'm understanding my mistakes, which is good. <laughs> We're going to go in with the Revolution Cream Bronzer. I'm very excited to try this. Thank you, Tanika. I also saw today I was watching Angelica Nickfist. Nickfist? She uses the medium too. She loves this. She was talking about this in um, it's an underrated makeup products she just did a video on. So I'm gonna use that same brush I used for the concealer because that's what I wanted to use. Oh, I might have used too much there. Hmm, it's got a summer fruity fragrance. That's very unexpected. Oh, this is nice. That's a really nice color. I am grateful that Tanika said get the medium because I probably would have bought the light, but I love something that's a little bit more ready toned in a cream bronzer. Or just in general as a bronzer, I think they just flatter fair skin. Or, well, I'm neutral. I feel like it flatters my neutral skin. That's nice. See how blendable that was? I think this was $12. I paid full price, $12. I just accidentally added more. I don't even know if I need a powder bronzer. I brought one just in case. So you know how sometimes some cream bronzers, they just kind of disappear, which is good for light makeup days, but I'm going out. I want makeup. Getting a little bit of patchiness here, but I'm assuming that's because it's a powder foundation. That's usually why I don't buy powder foundations. I find them a little bit more finicky um, than liquid for this exact reason. Like I'm trying to lay our cream products over the top and it can make it a little bit patchy. Fortunately, I don't usually wear a lot of complexion product like foundation on my forehead because that's where I tend to sweat is my forehead. It's not bad. It's not a bad patchiness. 
but I am noticing. That looks pretty, doesn't it? That's a win, I really like that. And I still haven't found my NARS, I don't know why I'm looking around in this room, it's not gonna be here. I still haven't found my NARS cream bronzer. It is gone, it is lost. I'm hoping it's under a bed or something uh, because that was my favorite cream bronzer and I can't find it. So I was buying this to replace it until I find it. Blush is also a liquid and it's uh, not a liquid, it's a cream. It's just the Fenty Beauty in Chili Mango. This is an Aldi, but I thought it would go well with my dress. I'm going for warm bronzy vibes and this is, I might even do this. Uh, I thought this would be a nice color and it's in my shop mustache. Just a really nice warm blush. It has got a little bit of shimmer in it, I forgot. I did bring highlighter, but I don't even know if I need it actually. This looks really nice. And I feel like the powder is doing better once it settles in. I was hoping that would happen. It doesn't look cakey anymore around my mouth. Maybe the tiniest bit but less than it was before. Oh gosh, that breeze, just give me a second. <sighs> Isn't it just the most beautiful flush of orange? I love it. It's really just, is the epitome of summer for me. I'm just gonna do the tiniest bit more, cause I love it. I've had this for a long time, but I always come back to it when I just want that nice flush of orange. That real summery look. My under eyes feel really dry and that's not normal for me. They look, I don't know about this concealer. It looks like I'm not wearing concealer. You know what I'm gonna do? I've got the tiniest bit of concealer. I'm gonna rub them on both my fingers. Cause I've already got concealer on. I just, I feel like it disappeared. That's so much better. Okay. And I just use the tiniest, tiniest bit for both. I feel like whatever I did, it disappeared. And often like skincare infused makeup is good with a finger i don't know why but that's just what i feel okay i'm going to i can't wait to do my eyes with those single shadows i'm gonna do my brows do i need highlighter no sam you actually don't i'm not going to i brought the rare beauty should i just like maybe just the tiniest bit like how could i not use this I have the shade Exhilarate, it's the new ones. I just tapped it, like I tapped, okay? But I know there's already glow, but this is, it's a moment. Tap, just a tap, okay? Amazing. See, I'm glad I did that. Sometimes you just gotta take the risk and go with it, you know? Okay, exciting. I don't think I need any more bronzer. I think I'm pretty happy with what I have. So let's go straight in with some eyebrows. Let's just do this quickly, because I want to do my eyes. Um, better for precisely my brow in 2.5. Can I just say, tell me your thoughts. I'm actually on board with the thin eyebrows trend. Not the thin eyebrows like the early 2000s, not those thin, but just the non-bushy eyebrows, you know? I just feel like I never had the brow for those laminated bushy brows. And um, I'm liking this more slim, slim brow. Not not skinny, not barely there, but the slim brow, I'm, I'm here for it. And I feel like my brows will be on trend. Like I have a good brow, I'm not, not complaining here, I like my brows. But I just didn't have that laminated brow that everyone did. And I'll be honest, it's not my favorite. I don't love those big laminated brows. A lot of girls had great laminated brows, but you know what I'm talking about? The little hairy caterpillar ones that were a little bit too too hairy like i can talk my eyebrows are in such a horrific state they are hairy caterpillars right now i am what do you call it pot calling the kettle <laughs> okay and then i'm gonna get the nyx brow glue not my favorite but since tanika said it was one of her favorites in our collab video she has some good advice in that you kind of do want it to be a bit sticky because you want it to stay in place and since she said that, I had a different perspective on this because I've never really liked it. I think because it's so gluggy, but she loves it. I'll link our collab video if you haven't watched it. Pretty good in my opinion. We love Tanika on this channel. Oh, and I know you guys love her too. Okay, it's eyes, eyes time. So I'm definitely wanna use this L'Oreal. I wanna use all three, honestly. I think I can do it. 
So we've got the L'Oreal Paris. These are called the oil eyeshadows. I have this shade is Force, which kind of looks like a satin. Not a matte, but not a shimmer. Oh, these are made in Italy because they must be a baked gelée. And then we have Almighty. And then the Moira shadow is called Venus. Oh, yes. I'm so excited. I love single eye shadows. I also got this one from Sephora, but it's more cool tone. So we're not going to be using that one today. That's for another time. Today is all about L'Oreal and Moira. And I just want to say thank you again to Rachel. She has a YouTube channel. I'm going to link her down below. Sage Beauty. She's a makeup artist. Um, so check her out. I would love if you could go support her. She's Australian. She does a lot of Australian makeup. Um, and she's just started. So show her some love. She's amazing and she's a makeup lover like you and me. Right, what are we going to do first, guys? I was even thinking of just getting my bronzer. I've got the V bronzer that I didn't use and just putting a little bit in my crease. Just a bit, just a little bit. I'm using the Flower Beauty like uh, double-ended eyeshadow brush. I don't have many clean ones left. And this has been used, but hopefully it's okay. <laughs> Desperate times. I just never have time to clean my brushes. I don't know about you guys. Yeah, I just want like a nice matte base because I do want a nice bronzy look as I've said two times before, repeating myself. Great. We're gonna go in with this shade first. What did I say it was called? Oh, it's on the bloody sticker. Almighty. It's a satin. I was right. No, force is a matte. Force, I need to take this off so I can not lose the shade. Oil eyeshadow, what does that mean? It just means it's more creamy. Oh, that's nice. I don't even need the bronzer. Okay, let's go in with this one. I'm using the fluffy end because I like to have a really soft blown out eye, but if you like more intensity, use a, a denser brush. This is lovely. I probably should have used an eyeshadow primer because I'm going out in like another two hours. Okay, so far I love this one. That's an everydayer. That's just a pop on the lid kind of shade. Love that. So far so good. Okay, let's swatch these two to see how I'm gonna do this. One looks a little bit more pinky, one looks really neutral. So this is Almighty, which is a satin, the, the L'Oreal. Kind of like a metallic. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? And then the Moira is Venus. And I have had these before, so I know that these are delicious. Oh, that's a little bit more bronzy. Not bronzy, but gold. Can you even see? This is showing up more, but on in real life, this has a golden shimmer. So what I'm going to do... Is this all over the lid and then this like as a topper, the Moira as a topper. Oh, this is pretty. Can I ask you, Rachel, are these the shades that you have and that you recommend? Or did you just think that maybe I would like these ones? Because you nailed it. You nailed it. These are beautiful. For me, I don't need the most intense pigment. I just need something that is easy and looks beautiful. That's kind of my goal with makeup. Of course, like certain things you need really good high quality, but with eyeshadows, I feel like eyeshadows have come a long way and I feel like most eyeshadows are pretty good. Um, so for me, I don't want anything that's gonna be too hard to work with, easy to blend. And just is like, I hate using this word, but flattering, I hate that word, but also, that's kind of what I'm looking for. Just something that looks really nice. And then I'm going to go with Venus from Moira. These are good with the finger, but I'm going to try with the brush first. It's really picked it up. Oh, that's pretty. It's got a pink and gold shift. It's kind of just like amplified the look. This is beautiful. And I didn't have to use my finger once, which is also a good sign of quality is when you can just use a brush. But sometimes I don't want to get it all over my fingers, you know. That is gorgeous. I'm so in love. Can we get the shift on camera? I'm not sure. Hopefully you get something. Okay, I'm just gonna drag the excess underneath. Beautiful, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of brown eyeliner. I'm just gonna tight line um, my, up the top. This is uh, Melt, it doesn't exist anymore, but the shade is Columbia. It's just a basic matte brown 
eyeliner that I'm using at the moment. And then I'm going to do the tiniest bit on the top part of my lid. It just gives you a thicker lash line when you do that. And then makes your lashes and that area look a little bit more defined. That's really all it does. I'm not looking to have like a big wing or anything. It just kind of makes it look like you have that beautiful... Uh, you know like how some women with darker features they don't even need to wear eyeliner because they've got the beautiful dark eyelashes and so it looks like they've already got a thick band on um that's kind of what i'm going for and then we have a new mascara this is the l'oreal pro xxl lift we have two sides one side and two sides so we're going to use the first side first this is new and was sent to me which is lovely I really liked the volume one, the silver one. I tried that in the last video. Oh wow, this is good too. This is good. It's separating my lashes, but it's also making them thicker. Yeah, I feel like this one's a little bit thicker than the silver one. See on that second coat, which is more curved, which I think is gonna be the lift part. I do see a difference in the two. Ironically, I feel like the volume one wasn't as voluminous. I feel like this one has more volume. This one's a little bit thicker. Intenso. I mean, I'm going out, so Intenso is good. It's not a bad thing right now, is it? And then lips is nothing new, actually. I do have the little Rare Beauty, but it's, it's too purple. I got it in my 100 points. It's not the right color for my outfit. So um, I'm going to, where's my lip liner? I've just got my Makeup Forever Aqua Lip in 3C. Which is just a good nude. And then I've got my ColourPop Just a Tint in Island Time. And it's a bit too warm, but when I wear it with this lip liner, it kind of neutralizes it. Yeah, which is kind of the vibe I'm going for is this warm kind of Island Time feel so that's everything what do i think of this foundation i don't think it's bad i think if you have dry skin just steer clear from it because it is a what is it a velvet matte yeah and it is it's matte it's a powder so if i had dry skin i know that i would hate this but being that i'm more oily right now it's settled a lot better when i first put it on i need to play with it and find out a good way like i've used the sponge Next time I want to maybe use a brush and just kind of see what works for me. But it looks nice. It looks natural. It doesn't look too he too heavy. I think you can kind of see that. The color match is fantastic. And I feel like it's melted into my skin a little bit more as time went on. So overall, I like it. The eyeshadows are beautiful. The concealer, I need to play with a little bit more with other situations. Um, and I loved this bronzer and that's everything that was new wasn't it so oh and the mascara she's thick but not bad just thicker than the other one um, I liked I really liked the silver one so that is everything guys thank you so much for watching I'll have Tanika and Sage Beauty's accounts linked down below check them out and I'll also have all the products that I've mentioned down below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate you. Um, I'm going to quickly top up my perfume. Sorry, I forgot. The Kayali Love Fest Burning Cherry in 48. It's really nice. I'm into it. I really like it. I really like it. I'm so glad I bought this. Um, definitely smell it if you get the chance. It's really nice if you like cherries. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.